The story begins with a 12-year-old boy named Dre Parker and his mom moving from Detroit to Beijing. Dre's mom got a job transfer to a car factory, so they had to relocate. Dre is trying to learn Mandarin during their plane journey, but it's a bit challenging for him. Upon reaching a small neighborhood, another American boy helps them with their luggage and invites Dre to play in a nearby park. Later, the apartment owner introduces herself and mentions that if they need any maintenance, they can call Mr. Han, the caretaker who speaks English well. Dre's mom discovers an issue with the shower and asks Dre to call Mr. Han for help. Dre goes to Mr. Han's room but finds him trying to catch a fly with chopsticks. Ignored by Mr. Han, Dre notices kids heading to the park and decides to follow them, where he sees a talented violinist named Mei Ying, who also reciprocates his attention. Dre's American friend suggests that he talk to Mei Ying. When Dre approaches her, Mei Ying engages in a polite conversation and is fascinated by his unique dreadlocks. However, their interaction draws the disapproval of Chang, a rebellious kung fu prodigy who attempts to keep them apart. Dre's American friend intervenes and challenges Chang, but he ends up getting beaten up badly, as Chang proves to be much stronger. The following day, Dre tries to conceal the bruises under his eyes using his mother's makeup. He also wears a cap to hide them, but he can't keep the secret from his mother for long. She notices his bruises and attempts to talk to him about it. Dre comes up with an excuse and manages to avoid the conversation by slipping away with the headmistress, much to his disappointment. Chang and his friends also attend the same school, and Dre tries to avoid them whenever he sees them in the lobby. In the afternoon, Mr. Han visits the apartment and notices Dre practicing kung fu while watching television. Mr. Han calls out to Dre to teach him how to operate the hot water, but Dre ignores him. In response, Mr. Han tosses a toothpaste cap towards Dre, accurately hitting him and surprising him. Meanwhile, Sherry returns home and becomes annoyed with Dre for not picking up his wet jacket from the floor. Unbeknownst to Dre, Mr. Han observes everything from a distance. Back at school, Dre discovers May practicing the violin for an upcoming audition. May emphasizes the importance of joining the academy for her and her family, and she is determined to give her best. As Dre leaves the room, he is suddenly confronted by Chang and his gang, who warn him to keep his distance from May while bullying him. That afternoon, Dre and his mom go to the local market to buy groceries. While there, he hears the sounds of kids practicing kung fu in a nearby public arena. Excited, he follows the sound and discovers a grand kung fu academy where people are training in martial arts. While exploring, he accidentally enters a room and learns that Chang is a skilled kung fu expert. Upset by this revelation, he quickly asks his mom to leave. His mom tries to inquire about his mood, but Dre refuses to share anything. After persistent questioning, he finally bursts into tears, expressing his dislike for China and how people treat him. He expresses a strong desire to return to Detroit. His mom, however, tells him that he's being unreasonable and they need time to settle down. Meanwhile, Mr. Han seems to be observing the situation from his apartment. In the next scene, during a field trip to the Forbidden City, Chang and his friends continue to bully Dre. Their actions only cease when the headmistress intervenes. On their way back home, Dre encounters buckets of sewage water. Fueled by anger at how he's being treated, he throws the water over his bullies. This action makes the boys furious, who immediately chase him around the city. The pursuit is long and exhausting, and Dre eventually finds himself in a backstreet alley with no way out. Cornered and about to face a final blow from Chang, Mr. Han suddenly appears and grabs Chang's wrist. He instructs them to go home, but Kaki Chang tries to kick Mr. Han, who effortlessly blocks the attack. To their surprise, Mr. Han reveals himself as a kung fu master and efficiently subdues Chang and the bullies. He then takes the injured Dre to his apartment. Once at his apartment, Mr. Han treats Dre's wounds using an ancient Chinese healing method called fire cupping. Dre, impressed by Mr. Han's kung fu skills, pleads with him to teach him kung fu for self-defense. However, Mr. Han doesn't seem interested in teaching anyone at the moment. However, he later accompanies Dre to visit the Fighting Dragon Academy to make peace with Chang and his teacher, Li. Li is a ruthless and cruel teacher who always instructs his students to show no mercy to their opponents. He rejects the peace offer and challenges either Dre or Mr. Han to fight against Chang, but they walk away as they have no intention to make the situation worse. Mr. Han sees a kung fu competition poster and challenges Master Li to prove who is the best, and Master Li accepts. Since Dre doesn't understand Mandarin, he is shocked when Mr. Han informs him that he has to fight all of Master Li's students at the tournament. Mr. Han reveals that what Master 
Master Li taught was not true Kung Fu, as he only taught cruelty to his students. He promises Dre that he will teach him the real essence of Kung Fu. Excited, Dre heads to Mr. Han's place and discovers a broken car inside the house. Mr. Han initiates the training, but Dre is disappointed when he realizes it's not what he expected. Initially, Mr. Han makes Dre repeatedly pick up his wet jacket. For the first week, he focuses on teaching Dre the importance of patience and determination. Because Kung Fu is not just about fighting skills. During this time, Sherry pays a visit and invites Dre and Mr. Han to go with her to the Shishi Festival. Upon arrival at the festival, Dre meets Mei Ying in a building, and she invites him to watch a show with her. During the event, he invites Mei Ying to attend the upcoming Kung Fu tournament to support him, and he promises to attend her audition as well. Meanwhile, Mr. Han reveals to Sherry that Audrey, the nickname he gave to her son, is his very first Kung Fu student. At some point, Dre becomes frustrated with the repetitive training set and rudely expresses his desire to quit. He blames Mr. Han, claiming he doesn't understand Kung Fu at all. Disappointed by Dre's statement, Mr. Han stands up and reveals the true purpose of the seemingly monotonous training, to develop muscle memory. Dre is astonished when he manages to dodge upcoming attacks from Mr. Han during their training. Mr. Han explains that Kung Fu is present in every aspect of life, even in the simple act of putting on and taking off a jacket. This realization fosters a newfound respect in Dre for Mr. Han. Later, Mr. Han takes Dre to a Taoist temple in the Wudong Mountains. During the journey, he expresses his desire for Dre to attain Shi's power, the ultimate test of patience that not everyone can achieve. Upon reaching the mountains, Dre observes a woman making a cobra mimic her movements. Additionally, he drinks water from an ancient Taoist well, discovering that it imparts internal strength and coherence. Mr. Han continues Dre's training using sticks along the riverside. Once the training is done, Mr. Han allows Dre to spend time with Mei Ying. They enjoy exploring the market, sampling various foods, and engaging in different activities. However, Mei Ying nearly misses her violin audition, which was rescheduled without her knowledge. Due to this incident, her parents consider Dre a bad influence and forbid her from seeing him again. At the auditorium, Chang and his friends confront Dre, mocking him and reminding him of the upcoming tournament. They threaten to eliminate him in the first round. Disturbed by this encounter, Dre seeks solace with Mr. Han. To his surprise, he finds Mr. Han seemingly drunk, venting his frustrations by smashing the car he was working on. Han then reveals a heartbreaking story to Dr. Dre. Years ago, he had crashed the same car, leading to the tragic deaths of his wife and 10-year-old son. Despite repairing the car annually, he intentionally destroys it regularly as a painful reminder of the devastating event. This revelation deeply impacts Dre, inspiring him to train even harder to help his teacher heal from the emotional wounds. Over the next few weeks, Mr. Han continues to train Dre, taking him to significant locations like the Great Wall of China. Dre diligently masters Kung Fu skills with hard work and dedication. Meanwhile, Mei Ying continues to ignore him at school, causing Dre to feel upset. During one of their training sessions, Dre opens up to Mr. Han about his ruined friendship with Mei Ying. Hearing Dre's words, Mr. Han helps him write and deliver a sincere apology in Mandarin to Mei Ying's father. Fortunately, the man accepts the apology and assures Dre that Mei Ying will be present present at the tournament to support him. Later, Mr. Han takes Dre to the tournament venue, providing him with a costume to wear and preparing him for the setting. The next day is the tournament, and Mr. Han explains to Dre that he needs to score two points to win a match. Initially, Dre struggles to keep up with his more confident competitors. In his first match, he backs down, allowing his opponent to secure the first point. Just when it appears that he's going to be eliminated, Mr. Han shouts some words of encouragement at him. This fires Dre up, and he knocks down his opponent, winning the match. Now, Dre is in the semi-finals, and Mr. Han tells him he needs three points to reach the finals. Chang, on the other hand, is aggressive and beats his opponents without mercy. In the semi-finals, Dre barely beats one of Master Li's students, but he gets seriously hurt in the leg. When he goes to the doctor, the doctor says Dre can't continue in the tournament because of his bad leg injury. At the same time, they announce that Dre might get kicked out of the competition if he doesn't get back to the ring fast. Feeling desperate to conquer his fear and go up against Chang in the final, Dre asks Mr. Han to use a healing method called fire cupping on his leg. Mr. Han agrees reluctantly, and now Dre has limited time to prepare for the face-off with Chang. The final battle gets intense, beginning with Chang tossing Dre off the stage. Dre's mom and Mei Ying get scared and pray for his safety. Luckily, Dre gets back up and hits Chang in the shoulders. The match is tied at two points each, and the next point will decide who wins. Just then, Master Li talks to Chang, reminding him of his motto. The final round begins, and following his master's advice, Chang takes advantage of Dre's injured leg with a strong kick, making Dre lose balance. 
Despite this challenge, Dre regains confidence and uses a snake stance he learned at the temple to counter Chang's attack successfully. He then performs a spectacular move, flipping in the air and landing a powerful kick to Chang's head. This not only ensures his win, but also gains him the respect of Chang and his fellow classmates. In a gesture of gratitude, they all bow down to Dr. Dre. The movie concludes with Mr. Han and Dre proudly carrying the trophy, wearing victorious smiles on their faces.